All righty, so we are back. It's Shauna Judd and myself. Shauna's with Mutual of Omaha Mortgage, and Shauna Judd is a reverse mortgage specialist. And um, actually, this is how I met Shauna. Um, it's been a few years ago, and um, I, it makes me smile like this because they were like some of my very favorite clients ever. But um, I met an elderly couple um, at an open house. I had a listing. It was in um, an age-restricted community. It was a beautiful property. And this really cute lady came into my open house, and she loved it. She was 81 years old, and she had never bought a home before. And <laughs> she wanted this house really bad. So um, I put her in touch with Shauna. Um, I knew that there were some circumstances with these particular buyers. Um, uh, with my background, my designation with the senior real estate um, specialist, I knew that there were some special programs available for them. So, handed them off to Shauna, and it was probably one of my favorite deals ever. So, I'll let you talk about what you did for them. What was the situation and how did we help them get into their first purchase at 81 years old and, and do a good job for them. So yes. I'll let you, yes. let you explain. Okay, will do. So um, so I'm a reverse mortgage specialist and um, I've been a lender for 25 years and um, these buyers were just amazing. It was so incredible to work with an older couple that had never owned a home. I, I mean, fun, yeah. I think we so. all had tears at the closing <laughs> table. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, and they really benefited by using the reverse mortgage for purchase program, um, also known as Heckam for purchase, home equity conversion mortgage for purchase. They benefited because the program allowed them to double their buying power. So, um, with this program, all they had to do was bring in their down payment. They'll never have a mortgage payment. Mm -hmm. And the situation with them is that they would have had to liquidate um, assets that they had with their financial advisor. And it really would have blown up their financial plan. And he was on board. Mm -hmm. They talked to him and he said, absolutely, didn't he? Was it he who was on board with it? Yes. Yes, he was, he was on board, um, and then um, his wife, you know, was, was the, took, you know, some education to mm -hmm. understand, help her understand what the program was, right. but um, it really allowed them to buy, they would not have been able to buy that home, and it was a beautiful home. Yeah. Um, and they were renting, they were paying $1,500 a month to rent, mm -hmm. and they, I mean, they could live another 20 years. Yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. And their rent was going up. Mm -hmm. um, and I couldn't believe they had been in that rental situation for what, 20 years I or know. something, a very long time. Your landlord must love them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they hate me. <laughs> so. Well, it, it was time for them and they were so happy. And, and they, they would have had to buy a much lower priced home. Mm -hmm. Um, because you know, with the reverse mortgage for purchase program, it allowed them to, I mean, for them, it doubled their buying power. Right. So right. it was a big deal. So, so you've explained what that is, what the loan type is, and um, it, uh, my question for you is, what exactly is that HECM or reverse mortgage? Um, are they the same thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so HECM, Home Equity Conversion Mortgage, is a program that is under FHA and HUD. Um, we do have proprietary reverse mortgages out there, like our jumbo program, that are not insured under FHA and HUD. So that is the, the biggest difference. Um, the reverse mortgage for purchase program um, is a HECM. Okay. It's the only reverse for purchase program okay. out there. So. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? My questions. Mm -hmm. um, well, we kind of touched on it, but why would someone want to use this loan purchase, this loan program for a purchase? Mm -hmm. So, um, I'll give you an example, some actual numbers. Um, so, for example, if you have a buyer um, that would like to purchase a four hundred thousand dollar home, mm -hmm. 
they would just simply bring in a down payment of $200,000 and never have a mortgage payment. So let's compare that for a moment just to um, a buyer that's going to use a conventional forward or traditional loan, like a 30-year fixed loan. So you have a purchase price of 400 and they're going to do a 30-year fixed loan where payments are required and they're going to bring a down payment of 200000 So they have a $200,000 loan amount where they're making payments. So does that make sense so far? That makes sense. Okay. I mean, so it does make sense. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they're making payments on a $200,000 loan. Mm -hmm. With a reverse mortgage, um, it's the same thing. They have a $200,000 loan amount. However, there are no payments required. The, the mortgage payment is eliminated forever and ever. And that's really smart, because I'm thinking um, most folks at that point in their life, let's say they're 80, mm -hmm. they really want to downsize. Mm -hmm. And so they sell that home and they put that 200,000 down payment mm -hmm. and they don't ever have a mortgage again. That makes total sense. Right, so. and it's very meaningful actually all over the country because we have an inventory shortage. You can speak right. to this, right. <laughs> this is your area right. of expertise. We have an inventory problem all over the country. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the baby boomers are, re are retiring, the millennials are wanting to buy homes. Right. Um, the greatest generation is still alive and we don't have enough housing. So the cost has gone up so much. So this program is yeah, so it impactful. Makes a lot of sense. It's very, very impactful. Yeah. It's really important. So that's a great program for them to purchase with. Mm -hmm. it, it really yeah. is. And it makes a lot more sense than cash. And that may be one of yeah. your questions, so I won't jump ahead too far. So. <laughs> yeah, so that for sure makes a lot of sense. So um, let's see. Well, that was my next question. So why should people use the HECM for purchase versus the cash to buy their home? So we sell our, our big house that the family grew up in. We have all this cash and we want to just pay cash for our, our little condo or our townhouse, our ranch style property that we're moving into. Why would I not just pay cash for it and be done? Mm -hmm. What's the benefit? Mm -hmm. So, um, the benefit of using the reverse mortgage is to preserve cash, to save money and keep that money working for you, working for the buyer, um, that mm -hmm. homeowner. Mm -hmm. So when they take, let's say going back to the example of a $400,000 purchase, when they take $400,000 in cash and they have converted that cash into equity, they've locked up all that cash, it's now an illiquid That's right. asset. True. And um, if they can preserve um, two hundred thousand of that mm -hmm. and accessible, keep, yes, and keep that under management, keep that invested. There's so many great vehicles right. today to keep that money working okay. for people. So that's that's really the thinking. Um, I think that you know anybody in their fifties, sixties, you know, and beyond seventies, no one wants a mortgage payment. It really is the biggest expense. Um, while you're working, while you're not working, it's the big, biggest expense we yeah, have. I think it's stressful for them to have a mortgage payment mm -hmm. at that point in their life. It is. It is. Yeah. Okay, so next question. Um, and how does it work? I think you've explained it, but um, so I remember when we met with the clients um, and I was doing their contract. I had to write a specific, a specific way for you, but yes. after I get that accepted, then I give you the contract. How does that work with them? You just um, take the buyer and how does that work? So it is um, written as an FHA loan on the contract. Right. And um, then we just do a loan application. Um, the buyer is required to do what's called HUD counseling because this is a program under FHA okay. and HUD. So they are required to get that counseling done. It's over the phone. Um, it's very simple. Okay. But there are different counseling agencies that contract with HUD, and they get the counseling certificate. We take loan application, and the loan goes into processing, and it's just a normal process. Appraisal gets ordered, okay. title work, underwriting, and it goes to close. Nothing special then after that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, it seems to be good um, program, but. Um, there's a saying, if if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So that's kind of what this sounds like. 
um, only putting down a portion of that and then never making a payment. So mm -hmm. um, it does sound like it's too good to be true for some people. Mm -hmm. That's I, I I really have a funny story to tell you about that. So I was working with a 93 year old. This What's was a few years story? ago, and she's still going strong. She's Finance. in her she was yeah she's in her own single family home and. She said, um, well, this sounds too good to be true. And they said, well, if it was free, it would be too good to be true. Right. But it's not, you know, there's sure. there's closing costs and there's the, the insurance. We, talk, we touched right. on that in the right. last previous segment that we did together. Um, but the reason that this program um, was developed by HUD and FHA is to help seniors age in place. Yeah. We have 10,000 10, people a day turning 62. Um, we have the, the baby boomers are retiring. We have the greatest generation still alive. And then there's a generation in between the baby boomers and the greatest generation. They're called the silent generation. And they're still going strong. Mm -hmm. um, and HUD and FHA changed the reverse mortgage program to make it safer, better, um, completely 100% safe for the family and for the homeowners to help older adults age in place. And the reason for this is that we do not have enough um, right. assisted living. I know, I had that with my mom. I know trying to find a suitable place, it was mm -hmm. it, it was impossible. Yeah. So yeah. it makes total sense. Right. So right. And yeah. yeah, and not, you know, they typically my experience has been because I had to put my mom mm -hmm. to assist, you know, they no one goes willingly. Right. <laughs> everyone, it's traumatic. Everyone would prefer to, to age in place and bring the care into the home. So that was the other reason behind this program is by eliminating a mortgage payment, allowing people to buy a home with a reverse mortgage right. for purchase, they'll have more cash flow to pay for in-home care. Take care of themselves. You know? Right, so think about our, our clients that we worked with you know, a few years ago, they have yeah. that extra money, they have no yeah. payment, so they can use that to bring in extra care as they I'm need. so glad I met them. You know, I just, I think about that all the time. Yeah. I think about them all the time. Yeah. I talk to them from time to time, but. Yeah. Okay, so, um, well, the easy question, it's an FHA loan, but what does it take to qualify mm -hmm. on one of these loans? So you have to be 62. Um, and Old people? Um, one person can be under the age of 62. Okay. And there's some nuances with that and some rules, and that would be something that I would say, you know, anyone that's watching today, mm -hmm. give me a call and I can go over okay. that with, with them because that's really getting into the weeds. Um, but it certainly is allowed um, to have one person under the age of 62. They have to credit qualify. And reverse mortgages are actually a lot easier to qualify for because there's no mortgage payment. And we're allowed to use right. Social Security, we're allowed to you know, um, use assets, and uh, we just have much more lenient requirements yeah, to qualify. That makes sense, with no payment necessary. Right. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. So what are the rules that a homeowner must follow with a reverse mortgage? So. I, I, it makes me think of a gentleman I knew in Florida that had a reverse mortgage, but I knew there were some rules and uh, can this used to be buy a second home or an investment property, mm -hmm. like snowbirds? Mm -hmm. This so, is a really important question. I'm glad that you're asking this. So the rules are it has to be primary residence and the um, homeowner must live in the home for six months and one day. So um, I have several clients that um, have second homes, mm -hmm. um, you know, in Arizona, California, right. you know, the East Coast. I mean, I have some clients right now that are in um, in Naples, Florida. Okay. So, but their primary residence is here. So, it has to be a primary residence. Um, and then, what was this other part of the question? I'm sorry. <laughs> so, just yes. what are the rules of that? Oh, um, what do they have to follow? And and yeah. you answered that. Can they be used yes. to buy an investment property? Yes. So, so. Um, my folks want to buy a little cottage in Naples, Florida. They mm -hmm. like to play golf mm -hmm. sometimes. So, mm -hmm. um, can it is an investment property? Can it be a rental? Can they rent that property? They cannot rent a property with a reverse mortgage. Okay. They they cannot um, at all. At no. Okay. They cannot. It is primary residence only. Um, some of the other rules are that they have to pay the property taxes and homeowner's insurance right. and HOA dues. 
Um, and that's really important. And that's one of the reasons that we credit qualified is to make sure, make sure they can afford it. That they can yeah. afford that, especially if they own a second home because they've sure. got two sets of uh, HOA fees and property taxes and homeowners insurance. Okay. So, um, but but those are the main rules. Um, okay. The no rentals. No rentals. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I knew that one would come up. That some people think that that is too good to be true. So. Oh yeah, this would be. <laughs> The yes. program so would be paying us, so yeah. okay, that yeah. makes sense. Um, my next question for you is um, so the HUD counseling, um, and that is required, you said. Yes, the HUD counseling is required for HEC and per purchase or on a refinance, and we're going to talk about refinance in our next se segment. Okay. But um, it's very simple. Um, they just make a phone call, get on the phone with a HUD counselor. Um, so many families I work with, um, the kids will actually call me first mm -hmm. um, yeah. and, and want to get their reverse mortgage started for their parents. Mm -hmm. And then the kids will get on the phone with their parents for the counseling. And it's really nice. And I've had worked with people where they don't have kids and they've had um, a friend get on the phone with them. And, so and they I, understand. So they understand. And, okay. and, you know, when I do informational meetings with, with people, I always invite the whole family, right. you know, the financial advisor of the whole family, and it's, it's actually really good. It's really, um, in my experience, in not reverse sales, but even in first-time buyers, it's the family that kind of puts the questions in their head and can really blow a deal. And if you don't understand, of course, that's, that's huge. But I think everyone should do a course anyway, but <laughs> that's beside the point. Right. Um, so, yeah, right. that's important then. Yes. Okay. Um, last question here. Um, I know there's a lot of people concerned all the time because we pay taxes. Nobody wants to pay taxes, income tax, sales tax, taxes, taxes. But um, as it's a tax paying citizen, because it's a HUD program, mm -hmm. am I actually paying for their program? Am I paying, am I funding this program through my taxes? Mm -hmm. So this is not a taxpayer funded program. Okay. This is funded through the mortgage insurance premium that is required. So okay. there, um, there's mortgage insurance required on the loan. There's two kinds of mortgage insurance. There's an upfront and there's right. a monthly, monthly, which is common on all FHA right. loans, as you know. Right. Um, you've done a lot of those yourself. So it is funded by the homeowners themselves. And then the administration falls under HUD. And mm -hmm. of course, okay. a portion of our taxes are going to HUD. So, you know, this is administered under HUD, right. but but as a lender and mutual Omaha mortgage, we actually provide the program. Okay. Okay, but it's insured through FHA. Okay, yep. perfect, makes sense. Yep. So, um, I love this program because it helps me sell homes to people and feel good about doing that. Mm -hmm. um, I have actually sold homes to elderly people on a VA 30 year fixed and I'm just, Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I struggle with it, but that's what they wanted to do. They downsized, but I love this program. So I'll just let you summarize then. And um, of course, we're going to be doing the third segment, mm -hmm. um, talking about reverse mortgage for refinance. Exactly. Yes. So anyway, I'll yes. let you summarize here, and then we yeah. can um, okay. move on to our next one. Okay. So, so the, the HEC Up for Purchase program, um, it is really gaining a lot of traction. It's a program where there's no mortgage payment required at all. The homeowner, the buyer simply brings in the payment and it is a win-win for everybody. Um, it's, yeah. it's a win for the real estate agent, for, the, for you, the realtor, um, because it opens up so many right. more possibilities for housing for people. I mean, there's a big difference between a home at, in the $200,000 level exactly. versus a $400,000 exactly. home. So it really is a game changer for people okay. looking to um, to get into the right home. So okay. thank you for having me All today. All right, I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate you um, explaining this and helping some of these clients that I've worked with. Thank you, Jonah. You're welcome. Thank you, Jonah.